Hey folks, it's Wuhan again. Uh, just uh, another video of a continuation on how to set up a server. Now, the video where I told you how to set up a server, that's basically how to set it up. I didn't tell you how to customize it. So, I'm making a separate video here to tell you how you can add stuff to your server and how you can manage it easily. So, let's just get this started. I'm going to start off with the characters, then the music, and then banning and then how to moderate in case you are not an actual owner of the server. So, let's get started. Actually, before we start into characters, let's go back into settings real quick and give you a little reminder. So, basically we have the public password, and like I told you before, do not worry about this, cross that off. So the OP password, that's basically the, the operator password. So if you ever want to be the moderator, you need to know this password. So, what we're going to do is we're going to type in a password here, and what's a creative name? Oh, there. So basically, on the lower left, where you would enter passwords for characters, if you enter this, enter in this line right here, it's case sensitive, so the capital P needs to be there. You can basically become a moderator of the server, and we'll get more into detail into that later. But this is basically how you get. Oh, hey, I'm a moderator. Love me. Oh no, I'm special. You should respect me because you know I'm a god and everyone else sucks. You can have that attitude if you want, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Some people do, but I try not to. So, uh, throwing that aside, we're going to uh, go back into the scene folder and we're going to AAO Public 2. This is basically known as your case file. Now, you get all these configuration settings files, but right now we're going to focus on init. And basically, this is where you customize the background on the server. And this is also where you customize how many characters are on the server and what you can add on to it, as well as the evidence and the description. But the main focus of this video is to focus on adding characters in the background. We are not touching this, the description or the evidence because it's rarely used, so I believe it's a waste of time. So if you really want to know about, more about those, you can message me on Skype, but the video is not going to cover those. So we're going to go into the init file. And as you can see here, we have the uh, perfect layout for the server. And we're going to ignore this, obviously, like I said before, just don't touch evidence ever for now. And the background, this is basically what you want your courtroom to look like. So we have default, because that's basically the original Ace Attorney background. So it, Let's say you want the Apollo Justice background. So we're going to go back into the client folder. We're going to go into base, into the background folder. So basically, if you want to change the background, you need to find the folder name of the background you want. So let's say you want the Apollo Justice one, you can go into GS4, also known as Gibby Usubakin 4, or whatever Japanese name they call it, also known as Apollo Justice. So if you want that, you can remove the default and just type in GS4. And when you save it, the background will actually be changed the next time you start up the server. You should never change settings when the server is automatically up, because the game won't allow it, and it can cause uh, a little bit of errors and surprises. So, whenever you change settings, be sure you have the server off before you save it. Just a, click, just a quick heads up. So, try to be careful with that. Uh, moving on. We have the uh, chars, the number... 69, that's basically how many characters exist on the server, or also known as how many player slots. So, basically we have about 69 characters, and we have a list of all the characters that you would want on the server, or at least you should have. So once you get that done, you can basically say, oh hey, these are what the characters I want on the server. So, when people open up the game, this is what pops up for them, assuming you have the files. It's pretty self-explanatory once you look at it. Uh, like I said before, ignore this, and ignore this, for now. As much as I really like evidence and descriptions, this is not a feature to bother with right now. I would not waste your time, in my opinion. Even though it is, looks pretty cool, it's really not working right now. So, moving that aside, let's go back into the... Uh, scene folder where we are at, and let's go look at the char file. Now basically what the path here is, is this is basically the password that you will want for character number zero. So whatever was listed first on the init file, that's basically what character you're passwording. So if it wasn't password the character number two, also known as one, 
uh, you would type in char1. Uh, I forgot to mention this, but when you enter in characters, character number 0 counts as a character. So if you have character number 0, that's actually character number 1. But if you have character number 1 listed, it's character number 2, and so on and so forth. So basically, this is the password you would want to type. It is case sensitive, so you gotta be, be sure you know how to type. You gotta be pay attention to detail and what the password is asking for, so that you can be able to get in just fine. Now this is just a password to a character, and I'll tell you how to enter that in in a moment. But we're gonna kind of get into that in a bit, so we're just gonna close this. I just basically told you saying, hey, this is how you enter a password for a character. And this is basically all you need. Don't worry about anything else at the moment. Now then. Once you got that out of the way, let's go back away from the scene folder. And we're going to go back into the base folder. Settings, we did this last video, you should know how that works. The music list, that's basically saying, oh hey, these are the music tracks I want on my server. And this is the vanilla soundtrack at the moment, so all these songs here should look familiar to you. Um, Basically, it tells you what music people can listen to, assuming they have the files. If they don't have the files, it's going to show up red for them in the background. But if they do have the files, it's going to show up green, which is really helpful. So basically, what we want to do is, when you add a track, you have to add in the mp3 at the end. And just like entering in passwords, they are case sensitive and space sensitive. So you got to make sure you get the spelling exact. One little error, and it's not going to work, because it's going to recognize it as a different file. So now that we got that out of the way, this is basically where you enter in your music list. And how we enter them in is that it's not alphabetized, but let's say if I enter in the music track right here, that's basically where it's going to show up. It's not going to show up at the top or the bottom, it's going to show up exactly where you entered it. So it's going to show in between the suspense and truth burglar. So this is a great way to organize your music. You can organize it however you want. As long as you have the file, it's going to work. So now that you got that out of the way, you just hit save, and it should show up once you pop up the server. Um, basically, once we get that done out of the way, we have to go to uh, the... Okay, let's start off with the ban list. Basically, if you don't like somebody and they're being a hard ass or something, or they just want to be anti fun or they insulted your mother or something, uh, you want to put their IP there. And how to get their IP, I'll explain to that in a bit. Um, basically, this is where you enter in the IPs of people you don't like, or if you open up your Attorney Online server program, you can highlight the name and click on ban and it does it for you. So basically, if people piss you off, you don't want them to see them ever again, just put their IP on there. And they should be gone, unless they get past through it with a... Unless they get past it, which I won't explain how they do it. Then you're going to have some problems, but hey, banning is better than nothing. Get that out of the way. HT ban list. We're not going to cover that. Uh, we're going to go into server log. This is empty, but it will tell you when and who joins the server at what times. So if you ever want to be a sleuth detective trying to figure out who's joining your server, then you can just simply check the IP and then the time of, oh hey, this is when they joined. Uh, basically, uh, once you get that out of the way, I kind of explain to you how to manage it and how to add stuff to it as a basic process. So we're going to open up the server. Now this server is on a different network. So really you don't want to worry about people connecting to your server at the moment for this tutorial. You're just trying to figure out how to customize it and how to manage it. Don't worry about people connecting to your server at the moment. Because that's not the main goal of the video. That was the goal of the last video. So once you get that started and the server is popped up, we can open up an attorney online game. Now, as you've seen it, uh... Basically, the server is going to pop up, and only I can join it. Basically, only me, because it's on my network, kind of like a local area network where you do LAN parties or Counter-Strike. It's going to show up for them, but they won't be able to join it. It's going to show up as offline for them. But that's fine, because I'm not teaching you how to port forward today. So we're going to hit Connect. 
And this is basically the perfect outline for your server. This is the ideal thing you want for a server right now. Uh, it's got the perfect characters and all that. So basically, we're going to start over with the password box, which is right down here. This is the password box. This is where you enter in passwords for characters and how to log in as a moderator. So let's say I want to log in to a password or character, but I don't want to log in as a moderator. So if you remember the password that I typed in for character zero before, I'm going to type it in right now. Remember that it's case sensitive, so you got to watch what you type. You can click the first one right here, and there you have it. This is pretty much what you want right now. Everything works just fine. It's got the music right here, and all that. The, mu the bottom of the music lid's cut off for some reason. I can't do anything about that. So basically... The red basically means you don't have the tracks, and the green means you have them. But, we already know how to add tracks and add music. So, once we get that done, we're going to actually close out of this, and we're going to log in differently. So, we're going to reopen the game up. We're going to go back into the epic server I just made, which is pretty epic, actually. It should be the real vanilla server, in my opinion. So, once we open that up, you basically have the uh, perfect outline of characters, like I said before. But, what if you just want to log in as a moderator? Or that symbol? You just type it in, right here. Remember the OP password we typed in the settings before? We're going to type it in right here. So once we do that, uh, before I butt in again, this moderator password can bypass other password of characters. So even if you don't know the password to a character, if you have the moderator password, you can access all the characters regardless of what they are. So once you type that in, you can log in right here, and you notice something different here. You get this option right here, guard. I'll explain to you to that. So basically what the guard does is that if you don't have a check, you're basically not a moderator duty. duty and, I'll <laughs> and I'll explain to you what that means in a bit. But if you ever logged in as a moderator, I highly recommend you just leave this on anyway. So basically, what you want to do is, is you got to enter in your own name right here. You have to do this every time. You have to make sure you are in the server chat room, not the main chat room, the server chat room. You will know because it will tell you on the top right here. So what you want to do is, if you ever want to try to figure out who is who, you can do something like this. And I'll zoom in here so you can get a better look. You want to type in slash IP. And once you scroll up, it's going to tell you who's logged on to the server as what character. So if, if anyone's ever playing that, oh, hey, guess who I am game? If you remember the IP, then you can actually guess who they are. It's actually a pretty neat but creepy future, I guess. It's kind of creepy that if you forgot someone's IP, you can do nasty stuff. But let's stay away from that. So basically, I'm going to show you some other commands at the moment. So... Here's another example. What if there's complete chaos on your server and people don't shut up because they have no discipline after you told them to be quiet and they have no discipline like most of the people on Attorney Online? So what you want to do is, if you want to mute everybody, you could type in this command right here. Mute. Everybody. And what that does is, it actually mutes yourself, but you can quickly unmute yourself. I'll get to that in a bit. Is It silences everybody in the in-game chat, but not the great chat box chat. It's going to mute everyone in the in-game chat because they won't be able to talk. They're muted. That's what the purpose of the command is. But if you ever want to unmute everyone, you can do the same command, except you put on in front of mute. So you type in unmute everybody. But if you ever want to mute one person, you can type in mute and whatever their character is that displays on the IP, not what it displays right here. You want to ignore this part when you're trying to mute someone. You want to try to find the character on here. Right here is the show name. This is the show name part. Uh, don't ever try to mute people from here because it's not right. So you want to try to mute people on the IP section, which is right here. Excuse my drawings. So if you ever want to mute a certain character, you just type in mute and you type them the character right here without the preferences. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, banning is a bit different. This is when the IP command comes in handy. So once you type in IP, oh, well, another one on here. So, if you ever want to ban someone, you, you really can't unban from what I've been told. So, don't worry about banning. So once you ban someone, 
they're stuck like that forever unless the admin of the ser server removes it from the ban list. Any moderator can do this, so be careful who you give uh, admin powers to. So you want to type in ban. So if I ever don't like that guy above me, which is the IP shown right now, you can type in 141233361521. And once you type that in there, oh, look, connection to server lost. I wonder why. Oh, that's maybe because you got banned from your own server, you dumbass. So, basically, that tells you how to ban, mute, and then IP people. That's pretty much all there is to it, except for the fact I forgot to explain what the call mod button does and the guard button does, is that... I'll just explain it to you right here. When someone hits call mod and you have the guard button checked, you're going to get a notification via voice which means it's like a rabble rabble sound in the background even if your game is muted and it's gonna tell you in the great chat box who's calling you so when people call you that's probably probably means someone's being an idiot so you should probably do something about it anyways that's all there is to the video it's I know it's pretty vague but it's not meant to be entertaining like the other videos so if you ever have any more questions you can contact me on Skype I'll leave that in the server I'll leave that in the video description so that's basically all there is to it. Uh, thank you folks and just have a nice day.